What's up, book team? It's Amelia, and welcome to the second and final day of the weekend of the fifth wave. Bum, 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 ba, da, ba, bum. I talked about my thoughts, views, and opinions on The Fifth Wave, the book by Rick Yancey. I will link that video here and below. And today's video is going to be my thoughts, opinions, and views on the movie adaptation, The Fifth Wave, directed by Jay Blakeson. And honestly, I did not enjoy it that much. So first, this is completely disregarding my views of it as a book to movie adaptation. These are just my feelings toward it as a movie. I just didn't think it was that great. I really feel weird using these words, but it just felt very sloppy and kind of weak to me. I thought the moments that should have been slowed down were sped up, and I thought the moments that should have been sped up were slowed down. The acting was okay, none of them really stood out to me, which is such a shame because I loved Chloe Grace Moretz when she was Hit Girl in Kick-Ass. And she didn't do a horrible job, they're just... I didn't connect with her as much as I connected with Cassie in the book. But honestly, to give all the actors some credit, there didn't seem to be much material for them to work off of. In fact, the writing was probably the worst part about the movie for me. It was just very cringeworthy at times, and it just wasn't doing it for me. Overall, I'm giving this movie a 2 out of 5 stars, and that's me being very generous because it did fix a couple problems that I did have with the book, but they were so minor that I just can't rate it any higher. Honestly, if I had seen this movie without reading the book, then I would have walked out of the theater being like, that's definitely a book that I'm never ever going to read. And you know, when it comes to film adaptations, I am usually not that nitpicky about them. I understand that they are two different mediums and they both have different goals and different needs and basically different audiences. So I understand that there will be things that are cut, edited, etc, etc. And I definitely understand that what I imagine in my head will not necessarily be what I see on the screen because everyone has a different kind of imagination with that kind of thing. But there are just so many things that made the book stand out that the movie lost. For example, the book had a lot of sarcastic, tongue-in-cheek humor. It never took itself too seriously, it knew what it was, and it just went with it. The movie, on the other hand, seemed to be going towards a more dramatic take on the book. It just seemed to me that it was going for a more War of the World, Independence Day feel, which, yes, that element is in the book, most definitely, but the main thing that stuck out to me about that book was the big personalities that you got from the characters, which just seemed to be gone in the movie. I just felt like the spirit and the overall personality of the book was just somehow lost from page to screen. Now, granted, I do understand that a lot of the humor was through inner monologue, which is always hard to accomplish on screen. So to the writer's credit, I understand why they probably let go of a few things. It was just very unfortunate that they went full throttle with the seriousness of it all and then the moments that were supposed to be quirky and fun like the book just kind of fell flat for me. But now I'm going to be going into more specific moments of the movie so if you have not read the book or seen the movie and you do not want to be spoiled, I suggest you stop watching now. Farewell and come back when you've watched it or read it or you know. Bye bye so there are a couple moments in the book that I think could have been kept in the movie in order to keep that same quirky personality that you get in the book. First moment being when Cassie had to remove the pieces of shrapnel from Evan's butt. I am so upset that the butt shrapnel was omitted from the film. Because that would have been hilarious and I love that scene in the book and I just... <sighs> it's such a loss. Also, I just wish that they had kept one or two conversations between Cassie and the bear. Because one, it would showcase her sarcastic, snarky self, and two, it is just freaking hilarious. Those conversations were so amazing in the book. They are some of the best conversations I have ever read in my life. But for some reason, it was cut, and I honestly do not know why. And finally, the last thing that I think they could have done in order to still keep the personality of the book alive was to cut out that Ben and Cassie had a pre-existing relationship. I love that in the book, Ben had no idea who Cassie was, even though they went to high school together and she sat in front of him in science class or whatever it was. 
It was just so real and hilarious to me. But in the movie, they tried to make it seem like they had more of a relationship and it kind of killed me. Obviously, the writers forgot about the babies. But honestly, that party scene in the beginning could have been completely cut, and then we could have used that time for butt shrapnel. And then also, we could still put in the conversations with the bear because that would just add like two, three minutes. We could also cut that random ab appreciation scene where Cassie is creeping on Evan as he's bathing in a lake or whatever. Because you know they only put that scene in the film so that all the girls in the audience can swoon and giggle and all that. Yeah, you're not fooling anyone. I see right through you. Definitely would have preferred the butt shrapnel scene or a conversation with the bear. I also think that some of the most powerful scenes in the book just weren't that effective in the movie. For example, when Camp Ashpit was mowed down by Vosh and friends, it was just super anticlimactic for me. And granted, they probably cut out Cassie seeing her father being shot by Vosh to keep the PG-13 rating, but I just remember watching that scene and being like, well, okay, that happened, I, I guess. But by far, the most downplayed moment of them all that really should not have been was the moment when Ringer and Ben realized that they are the fifth wave. Literally, it took about 10 seconds and there was no processing about it. There was no time to absorb it all. There was just nothing. He said it as simply as, I don't know, who stole the cookies from the cookie jar? I don't know if it was a director's choice or an actor's choice or what, but I just wasn't a fan of it. But since I'm talking about the acting, I want to go back to that aspect of the movie real fast. Why was everyone so damn serious? Like, the characters were completely stripped of their book personalities. I felt like no one had a personality anymore and they were all just empty shells living their lives in the apocalypse. Everything that made the characters relatable, made them stand out, and just made them memorable was gone. Because the ringer in the books was just this all-powerful, fierce, independent woman, hear me roar. But in the movie, she just seems to be like this ball of angst that kept reminding me of Allison from The Breakfast Club. I was just expecting more badassery and less angsty, gothic teen. It just didn't match my expectation and unfortunately, I just could never get over it. I just felt like they made a dramatic end of the world flick instead of a tongue-in-cheek end of the world thriller. And I'm sure everyone worked very hard on the project, but unfortunately it didn't adhere to my personal tastes and expectations. Actually, as I've been reflecting on it, I kind of feel like the fifth wave would make a great miniseries. I don't think it's big enough to be a whole TV show, but if it were just a small miniseries, then I think it would be a lot easier to capture the spirit of the book and be able to pace it out properly. But yeah, those are my thoughts on the movie adaptation of The Fifth Wave. Leave me a comment down below with your own thoughts on if you enjoyed the movie or thought it was a successful adaptation or just whatever. As always, if you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to be updated the next time I post a video, then please hit that fancy dancy subscribe button. And I will talk to you all again on Wednesday. Bye!